But let me get Mr. Sanjay Agarwal in. Do stay on, gentlemen. Sanjay Agarwal of CARE is also with us. Uh, um, uh, Mr. Agarwal, uh, do you think this uh, will uh, make life difficult or easy for a rating agency? No, so if you see the SEBI circular of June and that had already uh, made it uh, compulsory to get the no default statement from the companies every month. Okay. So this information was percolating to the rating agencies. There were some delays probably because if the default happens in the big, uh, middle of the month, the uh, information will come at the end of the month. Now SEBI has uh, asked all the listed companies, so companies with listed securities to provide their information on one day basis. So it's just that the circular has been uh, made more stronger because the circular does not cover companies which does not have any uh, unlisted securities uh, and it also does not cover companies which have not uh, which have defaulted on the working capital uh, this cash rate limits etc but the june circular of sebi mm. has already asked the rating agencies to collect a no default statement every month at the beginning of the month within two days mm. which covers both uh, working capital as well as term loans okay and it also covers listed as well as unlisted companies so that way life is life goes on yeah it makes it slightly better but it goes on, I means I don't think there's too material a thing. No, uh, how would you say it's not too material? You know, at the moment we have about 1 lakh crore of mutual fund money which goes into, you know, what are called credit opportunity funds. There, you know, there could be a, a, a chance that uh, uh, people default and it would have bypassed the, uh, uh, you know, stock markets and the large majority of the minority shareholders. Uh, do you think, you know, accidents like Amtec Auto happened about a couple of years ago, now with this rule, uh, even rating agencies have to be very careful, shouldn't they, uh, uh, Sanjay? Yes, yeah, rating agencies uh, have to be careful, so there is no doubt about it. But if you see the series of uh, the way the regulators have moved, mm. from November they came out with very clear definition of what are defaults and how they should be treated and all that. Mm. In June they came out with very clear circulars how you should uh, take into account uh, the defaults and how the companies have to give no defaults and what happens if information is not available. Mm. And now they have come out with circulars saying that listed companies have to provide that information on a one day basis. Okay. So this is a series, uh, this series is already going on, so it's okay. one more step, a very good step in that direction. Fair enough, Sanjay, if you think that it is only incremental. But my own sense is it is a bit revolutionary uh, as far as listed companies and their investors uh, and the entire gamut of uh, even legal possibilities of creditors being able to take such companies to the NCLT and uh, demanding uh, uh, their pound of flesh. Thank you very much for joining me in this discussion. Srikanth Badla Mani too. Well, the key takeaway is that uh, greater transparency, uh, the um, minority shareholders as well as credit holders and rating agencies will immediately come to know if there is a default with the bank. Banks and borrowers will also probably move to uh, greater disciplining of uh, cash flows and uh, repayments. Uh, we are in for some very, very interesting and challenging times as far as the Indian credit market is concerned. We wrap up this special show on that note. Thank you very much for watching.